Hey, want to see how easy it is to get a battery fuel gauge running with our Model Gauge M5EZ algorithm on the MAX17262 EV kit? Stay tuned, I'll show you. Welcome to Design Shop. Uh, my name is Jason Wortham. I'm a product definer here at Maxim Integrated Products. And today we're going to be talking about a model gauge M5EZ chip called the MAX17262. Uh, this chip is different than the others in its family, the 17260, 1, 2, and 3. This chip includes an internal sense resistor that can handle up to 2.4 amps of uh, charge and discharge current. So you don't need to populate a sense resistor anywhere on the board. It automatically handles the temperature issues associated and it delivers the, the excellent accuracy needed for current sensing for fuel gauging up to 2.4 amps. Um, so I've connected the battery to pack plus and I connect the other side of the battery to pack minus and then I connect the load to sys power and sys ground. There's a load and if you have a charger you could also connect that to sys power. Uh, today we're just going to be using a load. So starting up the EV kit we see uh, a bunch of the analog information, the voltage, current, temperature, basic information as well as uh, the open circuit voltage prediction, which is delivered by model gauge. Uh, it, all, it has an ongoing prediction of the open circuit voltage, regardless of whatever load or temperature. Um, the, the setup is not configured right now for this particular battery, so I'm going to show you how to set it up for your battery. I go up here to device, change battery, and use default IZ, IC con uh, settings, easy config. So it asks the size of the battery. We're going to type in the number written on the battery itself is 2520 milliamp hours. So 2520 and choose the empty voltage. Typically most applications use 3.3 or 3.4. The fuel gauge will be targeting 0% to be this voltage. The reason for this target is basically somewhere in your system you have a constraint, some chip that will shut down if the voltage goes below that. Um, and then we set up a charge termination current, 125 sounds fine. Uh, over here you have the model ID. Pretty much always you should choose lithium cobalt oxide. That's going to work very well for most batteries. We've done a huge study of 300 different batteries, all diverse brands and, and sizes, and basically EZ has been shown to deliver performance across all of those batteries. So if your battery has a, four point, a, a charge voltage like 4.3 or 4.35, check this box. If it's charged at standard 4.2, don't check the box. And when you're done, you go to Save Profile and Update IC. And you should see the capacity change down here. The remaining capacity also followed uh, to 1540 here. Um, so you can set up your alerts on the bottom. And uh, there are graphs. You can see the voltage, current, temperature. This has been running actually for some time. Um, the capacity changed over here. You can see that's when I loaded the model. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on a load and then make it, uh, make it one amp. There we go. So I put a one amp load and you can see the current here uh, stepped and it zoomed out to two amps, but you can see that the one amp shows up immediately. There's a filtered current, which will take time to get there. And the voltage up here, you can see it dropped a little bit as well. Uh, you can browse any of the registers. Uh, you can get details on the, the data sheet and user guide. Uh, generally speaking, you don't need to dive into all these registers, but they're all there if, you, if you're curious. And a uh, little bit about easy technology. So we've shown, uh, we've done a, a, a large test of about 300 different batteries of all kinds, very diverse batteries and sizes and, and discharges. And uh, out of all of those tests, 300, I'm sorry, 3,000 discharges in total, 97% of the tests delivered better than 3% error. Uh, this can, includes most of your normal cases. It specifically excludes challenge cases like cold and very heavy load, like loads above uh, four hour runtime. If you have a two hour runtime or a one hour runtime or less, those are more difficult and generally do require characterization. Uh, anyway, we've been able to deliver this performance and make it make the battery problem quite easy for you because you can just plug and play and you don't have to wait for characterization and depend on that. Um, 
that's all brought to you by Model Gauge M5 Easy Algorithm. You can find more information on this chip and others in its family on, at the website www.maximintegrated.com/max17262. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.